Today we shall try to understand the logic or proof of divisibility rule of 7 and 13. To understand it, we shall use algebra. Let's say we have a number of 3 digits. You can break this number into their place values. Now if we subtract 30a from 100, then it becomes 70a. But why we are doing this? Because 70a is divisible by 7. Why? See, 7a means 7 multiplied by a. And here, a is actually any number. I mean 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 million, 10 million, any number. And when we multiply 70 by any number, then we get a multiple of 70. And as 70 is divisible by 7, so multiple of 70 will also divisible by 7. So here we are actually trying to make a number which is divisible by 7. But we know we can't add or subtract because then the value will change. So we shall subtract 30a and add 30a. In this way we are actually taking nothing as these two are cancelling out each other. Likewise we shall subtract 3b from 10b then add 3b. Now here we have 1c. So we shall add 6c and then subtract 6c. Now from this we can get this. Now all these are divisible by 7 as they are multiple of 7. Now all our focus is on this. We can take 3 common. If this part is divisible by 7 then this complete part will also be divisible by 7. As here we have multiplication sign and complete part will be a multiple of 7. Now all our focus is now on this part. Now 10a plus b is actually a place value of the number ab. We have caught the heart of divisibility rule of 7. Now whether we can divide or not, everything will depend on this. Now look here, a and b are respectively tens and hundred place digit and c is unit place digit and here we can see we double the unit digit and subtract 8 from a number which is 10 plus digit and 100 plus digit. And that's how we have made the divisibility rule of 7. Now with this same method, we can also understand the logic of divisibility rule of 13. Thank you for watching this video.